What's going on guys, it's Point Blank here, and if you're watching this from Nevo, thank you for watching Nevo. I hope you enjoy this video, and look at my channel, I've got other stuff like this, and so on. Go check it out, it's cool, alright? Did you? Yes? Hope you did. Alright. Moving on, trusting you did. Well, uh, this commentary, what I want it to be about, is my ideas of what I want for Black Ops 2. Now, I really hope Black Ops 2 can be the best game it could be. I mean, well, that's, um, does that even make sense, the best game it could be? The, could be the best game it could be. We'll go with that, alright? Well, Black Ops 1 was a lot of fun. I mean, when I started off, I wasn't near as good, so I wasn't, I, I guess I didn't have the level of domination that I do in Modern Warfare 3, if you even want to call it that, but I still had fun. <clears throat> and going back and playing Black Ops now, it's more fun than playing Modern Warfare 3 is, honestly, it is. I just like Black Ops better. It just does so many things better. But, um, I want to talk about what some things I think should be done in Black Ops 2 that could make it the best Call of Duty we've had yet. Which, I want the series to keep improving as it goes along. I hope Modern Warfare 4 will be just as good, if not better, than Black Ops 2 will be. And hopefully better than Modern Warfare 3. But, moving on to the actual things. The first thing I think needs to be changed is the stealth perks. I mean, we've all died to that blind eye assassin guy, or in Black Ops, that ghost guy. And what I think they should do is, first off, keep the stealth perks together. Like, if you keep them in the game at all, which I think maybe you should, just because it does add a bit of an element to it, but when it's used properly, it's a really neat thing. It's really helpful just for staying off the UAV. But the problem is that people use that stuff to, you know, just camp in corners and stuff. But, yeah, back on what I was saying, I think they should take and have them both in the same perk, like have a Ghost and Ghost Pro, I guess. But have it in the same perk slot as maybe, like, Slide of Hand, Hardline, um, what would be another good one? Steady Aim, maybe. You know, just like scavenger have that blue tier slot uh, that first one all of the really good stuff and then have the other two for the stuff that's very much more interchangeable like the reason so many people used uh, ghost in black ops is because it was the best perk in the blue perk slot I mean I ran hardline a lot and a lot of people used flag jacket which is really good for catching nades pretty much but ghost was probably the best perk there and that's why people ran it now if it had slide hand there too it, I don't know if it'd be the same. That's like how, at least, as far as in the Treyarch titles, I've become addicted to Slide of Hands. So that's where I'm coming from with this. I think that they, um, well, I'm, let me gather my thoughts here. What they tried to do is, or what they did with Modern Warfare 2, there we go, that's what I was talking about. What they did with Modern Warfare 2, putting Stopping Power and Cold Blooded in the same slot, made people have to choose, and most people chose Stopping Power, and I hope that would be the same deal with Ghost if they were to put Slide of Hand in the same perk as Ghost. Maybe even bring back Stopping Power in Black Ops 2, or something Stopping Power-esque, and have it just in that perk slot with Ghost. Another thing is the knifing. Now, I mean, the knifing hasn't been near as much of a problem in Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops as it feels like as it was in Modern Warfare 2. Maybe even less in Modern Warfare 3 than it was in Black Ops, honestly. But I think something they should do is they should keep it a, a one knife kill, and but they should make it to where you have to pull it out. Like maybe I don't know if you have to. Maybe if you had to choose it over a claymore or something, but to at least have it as a equipment slot that you've got to you know hit up on your D-pad to pull it out or whatever. Um, or maybe do like a double Y, or. That'd be good, because I'd also get rid of YY360, no scope. But, <laughs> um, yeah, and then that would be a good way to do the knifing, and that still won't, that won't hurt people, like, you know, only use me blade or straight up knives or anybody, because they'll still, you know, be able to have the one-hit knife kill. And I think having, like, the Battlefield 3 animations would be neat, but that's not the essence of it. And now, about the sniping... I think in Modern Warfare 3 and the end of Black Ops, they really found a decent balance in sniping. Like, it's still not hard as it should be to quick scope and stuff, or to no scope, but it's certainly not something that, you know, you run into all the time or something that really gets annoying. It's kind of at a decent level now. If anything, I think something they should do is make it to where the... See, make it to where the, um, scope 
make it do like it did in Black Ops, to where or the beginning of Black Ops, where whenever you just scoped in, it kind of kicked a little, or view swayed immediately, to where you couldn't just straight up quick scope by aiming straight on them. I think that really helped a lot, and it made snipers more, you know, snipery, which I, that might be too extreme. I kind of I don't have much of a problem with quick scoping. It's something I like to do in private matches myself. But, it, you know, it just doesn't have its place in normal games. Um, and that brings me on to, like, some of the game modes. I really like what Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3 has done. They've both brought in some new game types. I guess Modern Warfare 3 is not as much. They just copied a few of them from Black Ops, which is, you know, exactly what uh, Black Ops should do. I think Black Ops should definitely bring back Kill Confirmed from Modern Warfare 3. And they should also bring back, um, the, like, the Juggernaut modes. They're not in public map. Oh, Drop Zone, definitely. They need to bring back Drop Zone. That would be great. Um, infected too, like Drop Zone, Infected, all those kind of stuff. They should bring those back. And One in the Chamber and all those that were in Black Ops should make a return too. And I also like to see um, Treyarch's hand at trying to invent more game modes. They did a good job with the One in the Chamber and things of that sort. I keep mentioning One in the Chamber like it's the only one. I probably play Gun Game more than I do One in the Chamber. But... That's really it for the video, guys. There are a couple more things I might have wanted to go into, but I don't have the time to do it with the video I've got. I might make another video of this, make a part two of things I want to see in Black Ops, but I think that's going to be it, guys. The game's winding to a close, and I tried some color correction on the video, so real quick, if you could, tell me what you think about it, see if it looks decent. Um, that's going to be it. The game's over. Come check out my channel, if you want to, of course, that is. <laughs> and anyway, that's it. I'm out. Catch you guys later.